Welcome to Windows and Computer Channel, and this is um, a little um, update on why you're not getting the update of uh, May 2020 update or version 2004 in Windows 10. So a lot of people, so I see different um, state of minds, you know, from people that don't really care, which is all right, to people that don't understand why their machines don't get it, to people that have super modern machines and don't understand why Microsoft is not pushing it. And a lot of the ranting against um, goes against Microsoft in most cases. And most people say, well, you know, what the hell is happening with Microsoft and why is it um, not on my latest machine? I don't understand that. And um, one of the th aspects of this, and we got to talk about it, is that I think Microsoft should change the way and the wording and the things they do when they actually give a message. So some of you are getting a message like this, that they're offering the update to compatible device, but your device isn't quite ready. Now, one of the things about isn't quite ready is that Microsoft knows why your machine is not ready. It is giving you that message because it knows there's something specific that prevents your machine from updating. And I think the first rule, Microsoft, Microsoft should actually tell you. You should have in the learn more button here, you should actually be told your machine isn't quite ready because there's a problem with this or that or a driver. I think that would help a lot in multiple ways. It would help you understand why your machine is not getting it. And if you're a little tech savvy, maybe you would understand oh well, i'm gonna do this and it's gonna come in and you know i'm gonna plug it back again later or i'll check for that driver's update and so on the other thing is it would also take some pressure off microsoft in people ranting because people ran in microsoft but 90 percent and i'm not joking more than 90 percent of the people that have this message, it has nothing to do with Windows. It has to do with a driver that's not updated from a manufacturer of your PC or from some third party manufacturer, Intel, Nvidia, whatever. Uh, it could be a piece of software, antivirus, something you have plugged in that has nothing to do with Windows. Windows itself and we see it in the people that actually force it when they have this message they, they force it and they say well my computer is running fine i don't understand why it didn't want to update but it did through the uh you know the forced update and it tells you that for the most part the, the reason why you're not offered windows 10 is very minor but also i think microsoft should open up because they should tell you why also because it would open the eyes of everybody because if they would tell you in that page all oh, because HP didn't update the drivers for this and this in your PC they're not compatible so as long as HP, HP doesn't update those we can't upgrade that would put pressure on the right people meaning HP would get pressure from the users to say, well, I want to have this, and you apparently your drivers are not updated. I bet you HP, Dell, and all these companies would actually go much faster at doing drivers than they are actually right now. It is a known fact, and it has always been like that, that driver updates from manufacturers have always been a sluggish and very complicated process it's always been a problem like that. It's been a problem 10 years ago, 20 years ago. It's always been slow. And um, so by actually t telling everybody, well, your Intel driver is outdated, and you would go to the Intel webpage and see if there's a new one. And if there's none, well, some of you would rant an Intel saying, well, why isn't uh, there a, a new driver so I can install this new feature update? Because now, right now, all the rant is going at Microsoft. And it, in 90% of the cases, if not more, it's the wrong, people are ranting at the wrong company. Your Windows 10 is there, but it's a third-party company, maybe an antivirus company, for example, you know. 
And if that learn more would actually bring you to a page and say, so we blocked the update to your machine and this is the reason why, I think this would open the eyes of everybody onto who is responsible and also it would probably put a little more pressure on manufacturers to work harder in having everything compatible for your machines. So believe it or not, 90 plus percent of the reasons why you have this message or you don't see at all the latest update is not Windows 10 version 2004 having a problem with your computer. It's something with your computer that Microsoft knows could create an issue. And it's not their fault. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.